Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to work some of these problems. This says write each percent as a fraction or a mixed number in lowest terms. So remember, if we're going to change from a percent to a fraction, we're supposed to divide by a hundred, or another way of saying that is to multiply by one over a hundred, either way. So here we have 25 percent, and if we're going to change that to a fraction, we can divide this by 100. So now we can simplify that because 25 will go into here once, 25 will go into 100 four times, so our simplified fraction would be 1 fourth. 25 percent is the same thing as saying 1 fourth. Let's try it again with the 85 percent. Again, in order to get rid of the percent, we have to divide by 100. So now we have 85 divided by 100. We can simplify this fraction because 5 will go into both the numerator and the denominator. 5 will go into 85 17 times, and 5 will go into 100 20 times. So our lowest term fraction would be 17 over 20. So 85 percent is the same thing as saying 17 twentieths. All right, now that's wonderful as long as you have nice whole percentages. Where it becomes more difficult to divide by a hundred is whenever you're working with decimal, decimal percentages on fra and fractional percentages. So here we have 62.5. We are going to change this from a percent and in order to do that we need to multiply by, or to, rather to divide by a hundred. But because we've got this decimal it might be a little more difficult to do that. What we really may want to do is to multiply by one over a hundred. Now in order to do that we really need to see this as a fraction. So if you know that 0.5 is the same thing as 62 and a half, that would be really nice. This is where kind of knowing what some of those fractions are off the top of your head works out lovely. So here we have 62 and 1 half. Now I don't want to work with the mixed number. Remember back from whenever we dealt with fractions and mixed numbers, we always change them over to an improper fraction. So 62 times 2, um, and then we're going to have to add, because that would be, what, 124. And we have to add 1, so that would be 125 over 2 times 1 over 100. And now we can simplify this fraction, because 25 will go into the top and the bottom here. 25 will go into 125 five times, and 25 will go into 100 four times. So now multiplying straight across, we have 5 over 8. So our fraction answer is actually 5 eighths. Let's try another one here, another odd one. We have 16 and 2 thirds percent, and we want to get rid of this percent, which means, again, we have to divide by 100. But again, dividing this by 100 is going to be a little bit odd, so let's multiply by 1 over 100 instead. And in order to do that, let's go ahead and change this over to the mixed number. 16 times 3 would be 48, plus 2 is 50, so that would be 50 over 3 times 1 over 100. And now we can reduce or cancel out common factors before we go ahead and do the multiplication. Because 50 will go into 50 one time, and 50 will go into 100 two times. So whenever I simplify this, or go ahead and multiply rather, we're going to have 1 over 6. So 16 and 2 thirds percent is the same thing as saying 1 sixth.